Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Children's Church. I'm so glad to have you here with me. We are jumping into the lesson with Matthew chapter 1. That means the first book of the New Testament and the first chapter in the first book, but not the first verse. We're skipping the first eh, 17 verses because it's just genealogy, and I doubt you want to sit there and listen to me recite that. Unless you really want to sleep. I do that sometimes. Anyway, we're jumping in at verse 18. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The birth of Jesus Christ came about in this way. After his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, it was discovered before they came together that she was pregnant by the Holy Spirit. So Joseph, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her publicly, decided to divorce her secretly. But after he had considered these things, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to make Mary your wife. Because what has been conceived in her is by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. See, the virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel. Which is translated, God is with us. When Joseph got up from sleeping, he did as the Lord's angel had commanded him. He married her, and he named and soon she gave birth to a son, and they named him Jesus. We are stopping there for the week, but I wanted to talk for a minute. Because families are kind of weird sometimes. Not everyone just has a mom and dad who lives with them. Some people have more than one mom and dad. And it's just how it is. But last week we talked about what Mary was like as a mom to Jesus. Why God picked Mary to be Jesus' mom. We talked about how the attitude Mary had toward Gabriel was echoed later on in what Jesus said to God in the Garden of Gethsemane. So what do we learn about Joseph that tells us something about the man that God wanted Jesus to be? Well, it says right out he was a righteous man. And so even though he thought something wrong had been done, he didn't want to bring Mary public shame. He wanted to quietly let things go. And then he heard from God. And do you know what's the important part? This is another place where we echo what Jesus would later do in the Garden of Gethsemane before going to the cross. Joseph listened. Joseph didn't ask any more questions. He changed his mind in a single night when he heard from God and he listened. Now we know Joseph was gone by the time Jesus was an adult, but we can look at the man Jesus became, and we can guess what kind of father Joseph was. And he was the kind of father that he chose to be. In fact, the title of this chapter is, Jesus, Joseph Accepts Jesus as His Son. Joseph chose to be a father and a righteous man, and Jesus chose to be a righteous man and obey the Father. That's what I want you guys to remember for this week. Happy third week of Advent. Have a wonderful week. Say thanks to your dad for me. Love you.